Our thinking was to bring this group of people together as a community of practice to highlight the contribution that biodiversity is making to youth development. Um, and also my sense is that there's untapped potential here, that there's amazing work being done. It could be done at a much larger scale and also the contribution that urban nature, air, urban biodiversity areas make to this work could be much greater than it is. Um, the work that's done in urban nature reserves could be better resourced and it could, um, there, and when I say better resourced I mean both the, the extent of capacity available to do the work but also the skills that are available. We brought the workshop together because as Sanby we had a sense of here's an amazing body of practice wilderness youth development work that's happening in a lot of different ways, in a lot of different places, rural, urban. To put this event together, we partnered with Usiko, who works with young people in trouble with the law, as well as Pride of Table Mountain, which is a project of the Wilderness Foundation, um, and takes young people on wilderness experiences on Table Mountain and builds youth leaders for the Table Mountain Trails. So another group of, of participants was graduates of, of Pride of Table Mountain. So young people who've been on Pride of Table Mountain programs who have, and who have graduated, who have, who have served as, as hike leaders for Pride of Table Mountain and have moved on to create their own organizations or to work in, in the environmental and or the youth development field. So that was another group of participants who were there. In any nature reserve, the people who manage the reserves are trained to take care of the plants and animals, the ecosystems that are living there. They, not, they, they may be trained in environmental education, but often that's about transferring information. It's not about creating experiences for young people through which young people can develop and grow um, and work through often quite difficult circumstances that they find themselves in. So it's also about um, building the skills that are required for, for this work. Some of the organisations had worked together on specific projects, but everybody said um, the, the richness that they gained just from speaking to, to their peers in the field. So at one stage we were running late with the programme and people were on a tea break and I was, try, I was in my head trying to figure out how we would fit all the sessions in and then I looked around me and everybody was so deeply engrossed in conversation and I, you could just tell from the looks on people's faces that they weren't discussing their dogs and where they, you know, where they go walking. One of the wilderness practices that, that we'd been told about in an input session was something called Indaba where at the end of a day or at the end of a program the group will come together and a talking stick will be passed around. So we, at the end of the first day we chose to do the evaluation in that, in that form. Um, and it was great for people to people who hadn't been exposed um, to the Indaba to, to have an experience of it and, and also a useful way of, of getting feedback. Sanby's interest is in supporting the contribution that biodiversity makes to, the, to development in South Africa. And youth development is one area of development where biodiversity has an, has an incredible contribution to make um, and, and an area that's where it's much needed. So Sanby's interest is in raising the profile of, of the contribution biodiversity can make and also supporting that contribution so that it can be so that it can reach its full potential. So some of the specific things that came out of the workshop, um, one there's, there's, there was a definite need um, that was highlighted just by that act of everybody coming together for this community of practice together and Sanby was asked to play a role in bringing the group together. Um, the other area of need that came out was just was to build skills um, in, in wilderness practice for youth development and the Wilderness Foundation has offered to play a role but I foresee a role in the future to, for there to be almost a, some kind of joint initiative to profile this work that would enable it to be, to be, to be done at scale and to 
to enable the role of the urban nature reserves to come more to the fore. Because in the urban reserves what we have is a potential for the work to be that's done in that, that for the experiences that young people have in rural, when, when they go on rural wilderness um, trails, for that experience to be a space for them to integrate that experience into their everyday lives. And um, because the, the urban reserves are there where young people are living in the cities, so, and they, they offer young people, particularly in the reserves that are located in the townships, offer young people an opportunity to engage with nature on an ongoing basis. And the, um, what, what's a challenge for the urban reserves in getting resources for biodiversity management is also an opportunity for young people to get involved as volunteers. So there's a wonderful synergy there and if it's managed in a way that really does justice to the, the development needs of young people, that isn't cheap labour, but that supports them to grow and to reach for their dreams, then there's an amazing synergy. So Sanvi's interests would be to 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 support this to support the process so that the that that the the um, the raw material that biodiversity that these nature areas offer young people by way of supporting their development can be can be maximised. Okay. Yeah, ultimately, I'd love to see a John a jobs fund program linked to Sanvi's current Krinsebenza pilot that builds a new cadre of youth wilderness development practitioners and the resources available to, to fund this work in, into the future, whether it be through the NGOs that are currently practicing it on the ground um, or through, through social government social development programs. But there's, there's massive scope for this work to be making a, a much greater contribution to youth development in South Africa given its calibre.